So Photoshop has released this new sky replacement feature during the Max conference in October 2020. This feature allows us to replace only the sky part of the image with a completely new theme without impacting any other parts of the image. So for example, if you, if you see this image uh, where a woman is walking on the beach with a sunny day, uh, with, a, uh, with orange and reddish blue cloud, you can completely replace with this blue cloud and it looks like a sunset, sunrise uh, part of the image, right? And this you can do without impacting any other part of the image. So let's see how can we do that inside Photoshop. So we are in, uh, so we are in Photoshop. Let me open a JPEG image. So what I want to do here is I want to replace the sky in this image because the sky looks very artificial in this image. So Photoshop 2020 released in October time, uh, October 2020, it has added a new easy to use feature called sky replacement and we are going to use it. So to use that feature, just go to the edit menu and here is the sky replacement. It's a new feature that they have added. Click on that. So you will see bunch of options here. So this is the default option. Your default could be different than mine. So here, this is just a sky with a rainbow. And you will see that this, so as you can see the image, the sky was replaced with this uh, sky with a rainbow and the rest of the image is unaltered. So you can also use fine tune this option by using the shift edge, face edge, and see how it's going to uh, impact the image, right? Uh, and you can also select from different type of skies. So for example, if you want just a blue sky, you can probably use this. Just wait for some time to apply it and see how it looks beautiful. If you, if you also want a blue sky with white clouds, you can use that. Let's try a few more themes. It's a cloudy day. We can use this. This doesn't look that real because the rest of the picture is really bright. So you also also have to make sure you are selecting sky where the lighting does match. Let's let's try this one. This one looks nice. This one looks nice as well. Let's see what other themes Photoshop has got. Then there are also some sunset themes. You can use the sunset themes. Or hazy cloud day. This background. And also this background. Right, so you can just select whatever uh, you may, whatever sky you want, right, and then click on OK. And then you a Photoshop can automatically add all the other layers that's needed for you, and then you can just save this image as any other image that you want. You can export it as a PNG. On the desktop or anywhere you want. And if you close the Photoshop and just open that PNG file, you should be able to see it. Here is here here you go. So this is the PNG file after modification. So that's how we use sky replacement in Photoshop.